This is a Squeeze podcast. We're your shortcut to being informed. Squeeze Kids! It's your daily news fix. Fun, free, fresh. Hello and welcome to Squiz Kids Today, your fresh take on what's happening in the world around you. I'm Bryce Corbett. It's Thursday, August 5. In Squiz Kids Today, Barbie votes for vaccines, Africa's grandma giraffes, Peter Boll does us proud, and Yakai the epic girl monkey. That's what's making news, kids style. The Lowdown. You know you've made it in the world when they make a Barbie doll in your honour. That's what's happened to Professor Sarah Gilbert, the inventor of the AstraZeneca vaccine that is helping the world in the fight against the coronavirus. Professor Gilbert, who is a vaccinologist, was at first puzzled when she learned that toy maker Mattel had made a Barbie doll that looks just like her. But then she was a little bit chuffed. Especially, she said, when she stopped to think about how it might inspire little girls to study science and maybe one day grow up to invent something as remarkable as the vaccine that she has invented. In the United Kingdom, where Professor Gilbert lives, she is regarded as a hero for the many lives her vaccine has helped to save. At a tennis match she attended during the Wimbledon tournament this year, she received a standing ovation, which is to say everyone stood up and gave her a big round of applause. And Professor Gilbert isn't the only amazing woman in science to be honoured with a Barbie. Closer to home, and our very own Dr Kirby White has also had a Barbie made in her honour. Dr White is a Victorian doctor who created a reusable gown for doctors to wear during the pandemic. Because girls plus science equals awesome. Spin the globe. Each day we give the world globe a spin and find a new story from wherever it stops. And today we've landed on the African savannah where researchers have discovered that giraffe grandmas are among the most caring, attentive animals on the planet. The scientists found that older female giraffes remain within the wider giraffe family group to help care for the baby giraffes and also to add a wise, calming influence to the tower. A tower of giraffes is the collective noun for giraffes, as in the word used to describe a group of giraffes. How cool is that? Having a wise old grandma at the head of the pack is a sign of a highly intelligent species, according to researchers. It happens with elephants, killer whales, and, to a lesser or greater degree, in humans as well. And, as we'll hear in Animal Kingdom a bit later, it can even happen among monkeys. Stay tuned. Sport time! For just over a minute and 40 seconds last night, the eyes of Australia were trained on the athletics track at the Tokyo Olympics as Perth runner Peter Boll carried the expectations of a nation as he ran for a medal in the 800 metre final. In the end, it wasn't to be, with Peter coming in a very respectable fourth position, beaten to the medals by two Kenyan runners and a runner from Poland. Speaking after the race, Peter said he'd felt the love and support from his home country, not to mention the living room full of family and friends from the Sudanese community in Perth. I feel like I inspired the whole nation, and that was the goal, he said. Mission accomplished, Peter. Having more luck in the medal hunt yesterday were Aussies Matthew Belcher and William Ryan, who won gold in the 470-class sailing event. And while the Opals, the Australian women's basketball team, went down yesterday to Team USA, there are high hopes the men's team, the Boomers, will beat the Americans when they take them on tonight. Go you good things. Now with 15 gold medals, Australia is only three gold medals away from its best performance ever. Animal Kingdom Today, we bring you the story of an extremely tough nine-year-old girl who has literally fought her way to the top and become boss of her 677-member troop of monkeys. 
known as Yakai, the macaque monkey, lives at a nature reserve on the island of Kyushu in Japan. Her path to dominance started in April, when she beat up her own mum, don't try that at home, to become the top female. Then she took the fight to Sanchu, a 31-year-old male macaque who had been head of the troop, or the alpha, for the past five years. Yakai beat him. The nature reserve has never had a female alpha in its 70-year history, and surprised workers wanted to test whether Yakai was really in charge. So they put peanuts on the ground, knowing that monkeys let the alpha eat first. The 31-year-old Sanchu backed away and let 9-year-old Yakai tuck in. Even though it's unusual for macaque monkeys to have a girl boss, there are plenty of animal species where females are regularly in charge. Animal behaviour experts, now there's a cool job, say that hyenas, killer whales, lions, bonobos, lemurs and elephants all have female leaders. Now that's girl power. Time for the quiz. This is the part of the podcast where you get to test how well you've been listening. Question number one. Barbie dolls have been made to honour amazing women in science, including the professor who created which COVID vaccine? That's right, it's AstraZeneca. Question number two. Which long-necked animals from the African savannah have been found to honour their grandmothers? Yeah, they're giraffes. Question number three. Yakai, the all-conquering girl monkey, lives on the island of Kyushu in which country? Yeah, it's Japan. Shout out. It's August 5. Today is National Underwear Day in the United States, where New Yorkers are encouraged to wear their undies on the outside of their clothes. Let's hope that's a holiday that stays in the USA. It's also a special day for these Squiz Kids celebrating a birthday today. Scarlet from Broken Hill, Zaha from Warrigal, Bella from Hawthorne, Sam from Donvale, Lauren from Abbotsford, Ella from Hunters Hill, Ethan from Canterbury, Matthew from Balgala Heights, Rosa and Liam from Randwick, Eloisa and Aurelia from Sydney, and a special birthday shout-out to Andrew from Little River. And belated birthday shout-outs go today to Brady from Gymea and Marley from Ulai. Plus, because our friends in Greater Sydney and South East Queensland are in lockdown at the moment, we're sending out home learning herograms. First one goes to Mr Goldie in Class 5G at Asquith Public School. Also to Class 5B at Winona School in North Sydney. And a happy birthday to Phoebe and her teacher, Mrs Burkett. Sully in 3W at Mount Terry Public School in Albion Park sends a herogram to his classmates and his amazing teacher, Miss Wright. Mrs Morgan and Mrs Stassen from MacArthur Anglican School in Sydney would like to send a herogram to the students in Year 5 and let them know they're doing a great job homeschooling. And finally, a herogram to all the students at Hornsby North Public School with a special mention to Grade 4 and Miss Page. Plus a couple of classroom shout-outs to those of you not in lockdown around the country. To 3-4-R and Mrs Rees at St Patrick's Primary School in Bega. To Grade 5 6 and Miss Wagner at Jules Primary School in Newcastle, and to Mrs. Brady and Class 6B from St. Joseph's Primary School in Kempsey. Don't forget, if you've got a birthday coming up and you want a shout out, or if you're after a classroom shout out, or if you'd like to send a home learning herogram to your class or your kids, drop us a line at squizkids at thesquiz.com.au. Well, that's all we have time for. Thanks for listening to Squiz Kids today. We'll be back again tomorrow. In the meantime, get out there and have a most excellent day. Over and out. Squiz Kids is proudly supported by the Judith Nielsen Institute for Journalism and Ideas. Squiz Kids! It's your daily news fix. Fun. Free. Fresh.